Mulby. And with Bryce in that row, the number one out of Reno Valley, that's Doug Kelly. Row number three on the inside, the number 65 car. That's Chris Lobenis out of Rancho Palos Verdes, and outside him, the number eight, Tyson Talkington. Row number four on the inside, the current point leader, the number three, Brandon Kelly out of Reno Valley, with him in their row, the number 58 car, James Altman Jr. out of Lake Elsinore. Row number five, it's Steve Patton out of Cherry Valley on the inside. Next to him, the number five, George Lobenis out of Rancho Palos Verdes. In the sixth row on the inside, the number 55 car, that is Darren Aldridge. With Darren in that row is the straight up number six, Sean Estes from Riverside. He won the last main event here. That was last month. Go back to row number seven on the inside, the number two, Henry Wieslowski Jr. Starting with Henry, the 72 of Mario Mendoza of Ontario. Next to the last row, that's row number eight on the inside. It's a 27 car. The 27 car is Stephen Welsh out of Beaumont. Then it's a number 16X, Ricky Childress out of Bakersfield. And in the back row on the inside, the three-time series champion out of Riverside, the 25, Curtis Deets. And the number 48, another past champion out of Temecula, Blaine Whitson. 30 lap, street stock main event, $2,500 to the winner and $1,000 to second. Still one race to go after. Guess they get it. There's more money. You're supposed to come out on those nights. Starter Kevin Winters looks the field over. Green flag. Oh, trouble on the start. Oh, that could have been a disaster. We keep on going. That was Doug Kelly and Tyson talking and team cars got together. Now Ager gets clocked by Roland. Night of destruction on pass car night. You're getting two shots for the price of one. Meanwhile, up front, it's Chris Levenis in the lead. Bryce Mulvey running second. How the heck did we get that lap in? Kyle H. who started on the pole. He got in that tangle in turn number two. He is slowing down the front straightaway. And he spins in turn number one. He gets it going. We stay green. So through the chaos, the leaders of the will be running in second. Point leader Brandon Kelly in third. Fourth spot it is Altman. Fifth spot Roland. Sixth spot it is Patton. And here comes Estes. He's almost already up to seventh. Blaine Whitson back to the pit area. Ager back to the pit area. Curtis Dietz, look at the right front fender, peeled back off that car, and we got a tangle in the corner. They keep on going. What the heck is going on? Curtis Dietz, I started to say, watch the right front fender on the 25 cars. He goes down the front straightaway this time. That fender comes off that car and causes a yellow flag. He'll be the cause of yellow. We'll have to go to the back. Mendoza, the 72 car, headed back to pit area, Talladega speed. There's LeBennett still out front. Second spot now, it is Brandon Kelly. Mobley slips back to third, fourth spot, it is Altman, fifth spot, Roland. Flat right rear on the Aldridge car, headed back to pit area. Pat goes around the corner, gets clobbered, maybe. He keeps going, we keep, no we don't. We finally get a yellow flag. Pat went around, I guess. Yeah, I don't think he did get hit by Doug Kelly there. Thought when he spun in front of Kelly, Kelly had nowhere to go hit, and apparently he missed him. How do you guys like those first five laps? And Curtis Dietz headed back to the pit area. They're going to pull that sheet metal off the car. Back to green. The Venice leader. 
Brandon Kelly running second. Look at Mulvey, the 24 car, to the bottom of the racetrack. Gets a good run through one and two. Gets by Kelly, trying to take the lead, lead away from Mulvey. Mulvey's been up front all the way. Fights off, excuse me, Levinis is your leader. He fights off Mulvey. Here comes Kelly. Oh, look out, turn three, car around. Everybody misses him. Three up front, we go yelling. This is getting good. It's found Mulvey, third Brandon Kelly. Fourth, it's Estes. Trying to make it two in a row. Fifth, it's Altman. Seven down, 23 to go. Green flag. Mulvey again attacking on the inside line. It's a good run off to LaVenis a little bit faster. Kelly gets into the back end of Levenis when Levenis bobbled. That handed the lead to Mulvey. Here comes Kelly back on the inside of Levenis. Takes the second place spot back. Now, here comes Estes. Kelly takes the lead away from Mulvey. Childers from near the back, the Bakersfield driver, up to sixth. Mulvey, that was not a good front straightaway that time. Excuse me, Kelly, that was not a good front straightaway. Mulvey takes full advantage, takes the lead back. Now Kelly trying to drive around him, going into turn number three. They've got Estes lurking right behind. Chris Levenis who led early on, he's back to four. And Estes and Mulvey get together. Uh-oh. Childress, the Bakersfield driver, who said he was going to win this thing, started 16th. That's a 16X car. He is up to four. Green flag, back to racing. This has been a good one. Let's hope it goes the rest of the way just as good. Ricky Childress up to third. Let's see if he can make it stick. He gets tagged in the back as he slides up in front of the racetrack in front of Altman. Now Altman under the attack of the number eight Tyson Talkington. down this time by Ricky Childress working on the inside of Chris Leventis. Car around going backwards in turn of the three spun. That's Mario Mendoza. We go yellow. Seven. Doug Kelly, eight. Green flag. Childress a good run down the back straight. He goes to the inside of Levenis. Move that car up to second. Altman also gets by Leventis. Move the black 58 car into third. And Talkington gets by Leventis. Keep an eye on the 65 car. Dark car definitely slowing. Maybe a flat right front. Roland almost gets into him. Back Roland comes to a sliding stop. Leventis heads back toward the pit area.
take a flat right rear on the bends, knocks him back to the pits. He entered the pit area going the wrong way. I think there's a penalty on that. Meanwhile, back out front, Kelly still your leader. Childress in second, Altman third. Curtis Dietz in low line on the racetrack. Remember, he had to restart at the back after they pulled that fender off the right front. He's battling with Tyson Talkington for fifth. Childress starting to reel in the leader. Car hard into the wall. Definitely going yellow on that one. That was Roland. He clobbered the wall in turn number four. Fifty-eight Altman head went back to pitter. He's rolling. Back to racing. Next time by, we will be halfway. Let's see what Childress can do with Kelly. Well, look at Malby back up now to the fourth place spot. Malby trying to go to third as he goes to the inside of Talkington. Dietz who had to restart at the back. He is running fifth. Patton with that front nose precariously hanging on. He had his two best finishes, the last two races, when he finished fourth each time, he is up to sixth. Childress made an attempt to get by Kelly, coming off turn number two, Kelly fought him off. Coming off turn number two. Top six have broken away from that group. Nineteen down this time by eleven laps remaining. Start to move away once again from Childress. Mario Mendoza slowing on the front straightaway. He's headed back to pit area. Ten laps to go this time by. Turn number two, we're going to go yellow. That is Tyson Talkington. Running in fifth, he slows on the back straightaway, brings out a yellow flag. Green flag. There. He goes to the inside immediately. Trying to get past Childers. Trying to size up Kelly for the lead. Childers a better run off turn number two. Trying to take second back. Altman up to sixth. And Childers slides it back by Malvey. Moby, the only guy working good on the low line. Everybody else running up on top. And he's made that low line work almost all race long. He goes back by Childers once again to reclaim second. That time Kelly came down to the low line. 
Doug Kelly slowing on the front straightaway. Brandon Kelly way wide off turn number four. Opens up the bottom of the racetrack. Same time Patton gets sideways. Hits the inside burn. No stays on the car. He only loses one spot. Mulvey to the low line. Going to maintain the lead. Maybe no hit because Brandon Kelly back around the outside. Mulvey back out front. Kelly's car not handling like it was. It's all, all, was. It's all over the racetrack. Jill is trying to drive around the outside of Kelly for a second. Two laps in a row. Kelly has had problems with three and four. They both close on the back end of Mulvey. They've got Doug Kelly right in front of them on lap down. Contact between Brandon Kelly and Childress. Childress back up to second. Trying to make the top line work. But Childress, a great runoff turn number two that lap. Trying to carry the momentum into turn number three. Now Curtis Keats in the 25 car going to the inside of Brandon Kelly. Kelly gets way sideways, hands that spot to Curtis D. Childress way up on the top. Mulvey down on the bottom. Beats in third. Altman trying to challenge Brandon Kelly for fourth. Black flag to the one Doug Kelly car running very slow. Here come the leaders off turn number four. They've got a lap car. That walks right in front of them. Two laps to go. White flag the next time by. Gilders and Deets still working the top of the racetrack. Now Deets gets to the inside of the lap cars. He tries to take second away from Childress. Last lap flag about to fly. One to go for Bryce Mulvey. But Mulvey not a good turn two that time. Here comes Childress. The guy from Bakersfield who said he was going to win it from the back. Here he comes. Mulvey tries to knife his way back on the inside. Check the flag about to fly. Somebody's getting 2,500 bucks. It's going to go to Bryce Mulvey. Second spot to Bryce Mulvey. Second spot, Childress. Third spot, Deep. Fourth spot, Brandon Kelly. Fifth spot goes to Altman. What a finish. We've got going off turn number four here. Well, we seemingly had it locked up. Here he comes. He can hear you. Make some noise for Bryce Mulvey. What a win. Tom Gillum. Hang on. He's got a whole bunch of new friends now that he's $2,500 richer. Oh. Bryce Mulvey. That, sir, was a heck of a drive. Man, the old, gob got, old goblin was on it tonight. Uh, we haven't been out here for a while. been racing with my son, Go-Karts. And you know, it's a good thing we haven't been racing all year. We might be a little bit better. I just hope Don remembers to send the check to me because I'm ready to cash that sucker. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. I mean, you guys, the top three, you guys were really battling up there. It was pretty tight. Yeah, I don't know who spun me out when I was in second on the third or fourth lap, but I was able to drive back through the field. The car was awesome. My body guy, Billy's got some more work to do, but we're good to go. We made it. Did a hell of a job. We did. I'm excited. I want to thank JE Pistons. It's an awesome company to work for. I build my own motors, so I'd like to thank myself for a freaking awesome job. Of course you would. <laughs> and uh, all the people that helped me, Manly, Howard's Cams, Bruns Racing Engines. I'm like a fat kid at a bacon buffet. Let's get this done. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think he enjoyed himself tonight, Scotty. Congratulations to our straight stock winner. There are more people down here than when he started. It must be the 2,500 bucks. One more to go, folks, and that, I don't know if it can get much better than that.